Casting is a process which involves pouring of hot molten metal into a mold cavity and then allowing it to solidify to obtain the casting product. To understand the casting process, let us make this material through casting. First place a wooden board on the table and then place a wooden flask on the board. Now at the center of the flask place a wooden workpiece. Note that this workpiece is called the pattern and it is the replica of the product to be produced. Now sprinkle some parting sand in and around the pattern. Then place a hand riddle on top of the flask. Now put some sand in this riddle and then filter the sand. Note that the filtered sand is called the facing sand. Now remove the riddle and put some more sand in the flask till it gets filled completely. Note that the sand which we had put after removing the riddle is called the backing sand. Now take a hand rammer and ram the sand so that the sand inside the flask gets compressed and compact. Then use a strike off bar to level the sand equally. Note that this flask which contains the sand and pattern is called the mold. Now turn this flask and place another wooden flask over the previous flask. Then place another similar pattern over the first pattern. And repeat the same procedure that is sprinkle the parting sand. Then place a hand riddle and put some sand and filter it. Then remove the riddle and put some backing sand and then ram the sand with the hand sammer and level the sand equally. Note that now this upper flask is called the cope and the lower flask is called the drag. Now place the cope and drag aside then lift the cope and place it upside down. Now in this cope make a tapered hole with the sprue cutter and a straight hole with the plain cylindrical rod. Note that the tapered hole is called the sprue and the straight hole is called the riser. Then use the draw spike to pick the pattern out of the sand from the drag and cope. The shape left in the mold is called the cavity. Then make a passage between these holes and cavity with the help of a spoon slick. Note that the passage which connects the sprue and cavity is called the runner and is used to guide the molten metal flow into the cavity. Now in this cavity insert a vent wire to make a hole in order to release the hot unused gases. Now inside the cavity of the drag, place a cylindrical object made of clay. Note that this object is called the core and is used to produce the hollow work pieces. Then place the cope again on top of the drag. As we can see that this tapered hole is too narrow for the proper flow of molten metal. So make a larger basin beside the tapered hole and connect them through a passage. Note that this larger basin is called the pouring basin. Now with the help of the hand ladle, keep pouring the molten metal in the pouring basin till the molten metal reaches the edge of the riser. Now allow the molten metal to solidify in the mold. Now take the material out of the mold, we get the product as. This product is called casting product. Some of the common products which we obtain through the casting are wheel, piston, bells, etc. Related terms are